MW reopened in April on the second floor of the Symphony Building across the Neil Blaisdell Center. Artesian by MW is their cafe, which is located on the first floor of the same building. So why are they named MW? It's the initial of the owners, chefs Michelle and Wade. They met while working at Alan Wong's. When we walked in, we noticed how clean and modern the place is. The Hawaiian wood style furniture, ceramic decor, and lighting fixtures created a comfortable ambiance for us to enjoy our stay and food. We had a large private table with a nice view of the Blaisdell Center. We were there to celebrate Grandma's birthday at her favorite restaurant. The menu is displayed in a simple and clear way. It is short, yet descriptive enough to help paint a picture to the reader about what the dish is. I start off with the blue afternoon drink. For something called the blue afternoon, it wasn't blue at all. It's a non-alcoholic bright red drink and you get the blue from the blueberry, yuzu, cinnamon, fresh pineapple juice, and soda topped with a slice of lemon. It was not overly sweet and very refreshing. We started off the appetizers with the menchikatsu, which is made with chicken and tofu, topped with MW steak sauce and relish. Maybe feed him another bite. Mm. Next up, we have the Kona Lobster Rose. This appetizer comes in three per order and has chunks of Kona Lobster in a light cream sauce served in their house-made pretzel bun. Following the rolls, we had the Ahi Nachos. There is fresh Ahi mixed with a generous amount of avocado salsa on top of wonton chips. The chips were Baby K's favorite. After the nachos, we had the order of the crab cakes. If you enjoy crab, you'll have to get this appetizer. Your first bite will fill you with a vibrant taste of crab that is mixed with their wasabi koji sauce, corn, and heart of palm. Next was the ahi poke shirashi. You will get a taste of the ocean with the spicy ahi tartar, uni, ikura, and crispy mochi rice chips. The seaweed is not just for decoration, it's edible and actually quite salty. Now we can't forget our veggies. We had an order of the Caesar salad that had the right amount of salty garlic anchovy dressing, crispy churming, and tomatoes. Wrapping up the last of our appetizers was the Cushy Oyster Rockefeller. The spinach and seasoning that was added accentuates the natural taste of the abalone and clam. Before our entrees came out, Baby K and his cousin had a four cheese pasta and grilled fish. 
kind of kicked out of my own seat. For the adults, we got the 12 ounce Brent brand beef prime grade ribeye steak, the Japanese A5 Wagyu beef, the dinner Teishioku, and the pan roasted Bristol Bay scallops. As I cut into the ribeye steak, you can see how very tender the meat is. I like my steak medium rare, which gives you that exemplary blend of a juicy soft center and a firm outside. You get more of that beefy meat flavor and fats because the steak came from an organic grass-fed cow. The roasted potatoes and mushrooms were a nice addition to complement the steak. Supplementing my dinner, I also had the Japanese A5 Wagyu beef. The K-pop band BTS simply put it best. It was smooth like butter, eating it with their bariyaki sauce. Eating a piece of the world's most luxurious steak is an experience. I ended up cutting a piece for everyone else to try and it worked out because the A5 is so buttery and fatty, it would have overwhelmed the flavors of the rest of the dinner for me. Koa, no, 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 you stay there. We all know the saying that there is always room for dessert. With Uncle Wade cooking the savory appetizers and entrees, we have Auntie Michelle, who is our favorite pastry chef, taking it to another level with her desserts. She is so creative with her desserts that you can't help but wonder on how it tastes when they come out. First up, we have the brulee. You start off with a caramelized sugar topping that has just the right amount of burnt. Then you have a rich but balanced custard mixed with lilico sherbet, gummies tropical fruit, and halpia tapioca resting on the bottom. This is one of the desserts that we always get whenever we eat here. Next, we have the shave ice, which is a type of dessert that is well liked in Hawaii. The flavor that we got was coffee shave ice and the taste was lighter than expected. You get a nice blend of rich vanilla and a slightly toasted coffee flavor from the Laie vanilla bean and Kau coffee ice cream with chunks of coffee, tapioca, and canteen. Topped with aerated Kohana, Kokoleka cream, shaved coffee, and some edible gold. The third dessert we had was the floating island. This soft frozen treat consists of big island goat cheese, semifredo, yuzu curd, kula strawberries, strawberry and cream gelée, chiso, and strawberry hibiscus consomme. I was surprised on how flavorful and refreshing this tasted, and because I like ice cream, this became a new favorite. After the floating island, we enjoyed the taste of the lemon meringue. You sort of get a feeling of eating a melting marshmallow from the Japanese shuffle cheesecake, and there is a side of yuzu with lemon and blueberry pop-tart. Last but not least, we have the famous MW candy bar. You definitely need to order this dessert if you love chocolate. It has an abundant flavor of chocolate that goes well with the Hawaiian sea salt, macadamia nut caramel, and peanut butter crunch crust on the bottom. As if you didn't get enough to eat. At the end of every meal, you'll get an MW's grandma's cookie that was inspired by Chef Michelle's grandma to take home. How do you like chocolate chip cookie, Koa? The service was impeccable. You can tell the staff was well trained on the presentation and taste of the menu. Our server provided excellent service, ensuring that our dishes were promptly served and describing each in detail as it came out. We had such a lovely dinner that we didn't notice we were eating there for three hours. 
We look forward in returning and making another memorable moment with MW. Thank you for watching. What was your favorite dish? Tell us in the comments below. Also, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.